Okay Haskellings, day 20 is behind us, let's move on to allergies in day 21. As always, we fetch our input and import our advent of code module and set up an F function with interact. So let's have a quick look at our input. We have on each line ingredients followed by allergens. So we're going to split on the word contains and then put that through a function g to separate them. The ingredients are space separated and the allergens are comma separated with a trailing close parenthesis. So we can make them into a tuple of two lists in this way. Let's move that down into our where clause and call it mapping. To start with, I'd like to get a list of all of our ingredients. I can do that by using concat map first and then using nub to make sure they're unique. I can do the same for the allergens. Now, the puzzle states that for all of our rules, the allergen may or may not be listed. But what we definitely do know is if the allergen is listed, it's in one of the ingredients. So for each rule, I'm going to create a mapping from every allergen to all of the ingredients in that rule, because one of them must contain it. Now, after adding the tuple sections language extension, I'm going to concatenate all those definites together. Let's have a look at that. If we just pick out the first one, we can see that we have a rule that says that wheat definitely is contained in one of those ingredients. So if we start with a map from allergen to all of the ingredients, we can go through each of these rules and eliminate the ingredients that that allergen can't be in. We can do this by using this map as the accumulator in a fold over all of the rules in the given possibilities. Each step of this fold is going to take in the map as well as the next rule and then update the map based on that rule. We can use the update function from data.map and the list intersect function to remove all the ingredients that aren't in both the remaining possibilities for this allergen and in the ingredients listed in the rule. And we have an error here because the update function expects the function we pass to it to return a maybe value, so let's make it always return a just. We've gotten back a very much reduced list of possibilities for each allergen. So now we can extract out the list of ingredients that can contain an allergen using concat map second and then making them unique with nub. To get the list of ingredients that can't possibly contain an allergen, we use the list difference operation with all of the ingredients. For all of those, we need to count how many times they appear in our original mapping. We can do this with our handy count function from day two. Lastly, we just need to sum over those values to get a number we can check. And that's one more gold star. On to part two, and it seems we've already done most of what we need to do for this. We can use the same algorithm that we used in part two of day 16 to reduce the possibilities even further. This algorithm boils down to taking the allergies with just one possible ingredient left and removing that ingredient from all the other allergies. If we keep doing this, we should end up with one possible ingredient per allergy. The puzzle then asks us to sort the allergens to provide the canonical dangerous ingredient list. We use head.second then to extract out the dangerous ingredient list and intercalate comma to make them into a single string that we can check. And I'm happy to report that day 21 is complete. Happy Haskelling to you all.